Yo, 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 what's up, everybody? Juma with the guys. Frankie. Isaac. Part of the Juice Podcast, you know, but we trying to do something a little different for y'all. We, you know, we trying to talk about our personal interests. We always have other people on as guests and talk about what they got going on. But this is just stuff that we kind of talk about on our day to day and everything we wanted to do. We're trying to give you a segment called Juice Sports. And being that football season is right around the corner, we figured we start off with that, you know. Last year, we did a fantasy thing amongst our group. And we figured this year we want to cover everything about the sport, just everything that we like, players that we like. This is all personal opinion. Don't think we're giving y'all ESPN type coverage. Yeah, we're not, we're yeah, not giving is, you stats. Yeah, shit, like, bro. like say none. We of might that, give you some. Like, but, say none of that. But, yeah. Yeah. we're not gonna break down your favorite players. Yeah, we're not bro. breaking yeah. down teams. This is we're what not, we want to talk not, about. Like, yeah, yeah, we're not analyzing shit, bro. Yeah, like, we might give you some rankings, but have like very little reason behind it. Nah, for real. <laughs> it <laughs> might be pure biasness. Straight the fuck up. Nah, for real. At times it will be. And sometimes it might be one topic the whole time. Like. You might think we was here to talk about all the games from the weekend because that's what we want to do, you know? Yeah. And it might be only a 10 minute along. episode to a fucking 30, 40 minute yeah, episode. Yeah. Sometimes we might just cover one thing from the weekend. Like, so, but we're just trying to be tapped in because this is what we like to do. And we know a bunch of people out there have similar interests with the football. Maybe it's going to extend, you know, that, you know, that's what we're trying to get the name broad, Juice Sports. We might do basketball. I want to do soccer eventually, you know, the real football. And we we could do baseball that, if you know? the Angels make it to the okay. playoffs. See, look, let's try to do a lot. We bro, could. Okay. See, now you're see, asking look, too much, bro. Look, you're asking for too much. See, dog. You're asking for too much. That's what I'm saying, bro. I know bro, my, see, team, I know know my team's going. He be trying to hate, yeah. <laughs> I'm not hating. I just know my team's <laughs> going. I would hope so, bro. You ain't even wrong. Nah, you ain't even <laughs> wrong. Nah, but honestly, we're just trying to get this another part of the channel and everything we got going. So this Juice Sports segment, we're, we're going to try to take it serious. But don't mean it's serious. Or how y'all want to be presented. It's how we want it to be presented. We're going to be goofing around, having fun, and just, I don't know, talking sport how we talk sport. We, we, we be talking shit on players. Like, I don't think this saying, like. <laughs> yeah, nah, we're not sweet, think, bro. Like, We're not yeah, friends not with sweet. any of these guys, Yeah, bro. Like, like, yeah. They just I, I, don't know, it. I don't know Aaron Rodgers like that, like, bro. I'm a like, biased ass yeah. fan, you feel me? Yeah. I'm really biased. I'll straight, I straight up dislike yeah. Aaron Rodgers just because that one year, dog. Shot, like, bro. <laughs> We like, bro, fuck Jared Aaron, Cook, too, bro. What the fuck you your toe oh tapping ass, bro? I fucking hate those. Me and Frank literally go Cook. for different teams in the division. You know me? One of the most hatred is type, like, in, you know, in the NFL, Cowboys, Eagles shit. Yep. But it's cool because the way we talk, I don't know. I feel like it's the way most French groups kick it. And yeah, and I, we be hating all lands, you know. <laughs> you and Not getting no for- playoff wins over there at this squad. <laughs> <laughs> Claim your squad, lands. Tell the people. Raiders, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Raiders. We're going to cover Raiders stuff because yeah. I'm lands. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I was like, too, but he's just busy at the moment. Yeah, I know about him. And salutes to him because he does a lot, even behind the scenes with the podcast stuff, you know. So we wanted to just bring other, you know, other content to the channel. He's going to be involved, too. Don't worry. He's going to be around. He's going to be around. But just at the moment, we wanted to get this shit cracking because NFL season right around the corner. She dropping like probably a couple days before the season actually starts, you know. Probably get another episode in. Get You guys going to probably get what we said. Do like our rankings, the divisional rankings. Yeah, how we feel about the team. Yeah, how we feel about teams. We'll talk. Talk fantasy Maybe coverage, or yeah, bro. Because I actually, I was telling them literally right before this some news that came out about the Jonathan Taylor stuff. I took them early in the draft last year. <laughs> I felt like if I talked to the guys before, if we had some little, I'd probably would have not took them. You hear yeah, me? I would have told you, I yeah, like, bro. But just yeah, shit like that. I'd let them. You know? I'd let them slip to like the late second round. Damn, that's you, crazy, bro. Yeah. Cause see, I was no, like I high lied, up on them bro. too, bro. Cause I think I had like, I had like a six pick maybe out of like a ten man league we were in. Mm. Mm. So I remember I, I got lucky, bro, because uh, either it was four or six, one or two. Cause I remember I got Justin Jefferson. That was my first round pick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, Especially in a PPR? Yeah, Jefferson's not snapping, going past yet. Yeah. yeah, bro. So that's he why, like, no, no, but it was, like, before his last year outbreak, obviously. Oh, okay. Like, he was kind of going crazy. So, like, it was, like, it wasn't absurd to take him that early. Yeah. Like, but if he fell past eight, you were tripping, like. Yeah. So that's why I took him where I took him. But, nah, bro, I felt like if I would have had an earlier pick, bro, and if there were... <laughs> Any other backs, bro? Because when I it was my pick, I remember there was no backs. No, I feel you. So that's the only reason I went. McCaffrey was off the board. Yeah, McCaffrey was off the board. Okay. Damn, so it was, was, it was basically like, like, crucial like too. everyone took the backs. Everyone took the backs. Oh, so that's okay. why I had Justin Jefferson. That's what I'm saying. I think I'm pretty sure it was the sixth pick. Oh, okay. Because I remember I was like, okay, I'll either take Eckler, Taylor, and then there's like Henry. one or two other backs. Henry. Yeah, Henry was one of them, yeah. and then McCaffrey. Yeah, he got took early too. So yeah. That's why I was like, "Those are my four backs. Like, I'm yeah. taking early, no matter what." So when I didn't see those backs, I was like, yeah, "Makes sense. Yeah. Got to go, Justin Jefferson." Because I was surprised he was on the board. Nah, I hear you. I hear you. Yeah, I've been scooping on McCaffrey everywhere this year, bro. He's like, 
Because I've been getting picks late, like the tenth pick, eighth pick. Yeah, yeah. McCaffrey's just there. Oh, he falls He's to you. He's free, bro. That's kind of wild. I was taking for free. That kind of explains yeah. why you're saying you draft with idiots. Yeah. With that being said, let's talk about players that are gonna make key impacts to their team as far as new acquisitions, like trades, or maybe even you know how we like how, how we're talking about the draft. How even like McCaffrey, bro? The fact that he went to the Niners like late in the season last year, you yeah. know, like he was a player. I don't know. He was already going off, but. You know, trade sometimes can affect like how good you are, just how effective you are for the team and stuff. It, you know, it could, yeah, it can help the team. Like, all right, the the front office is bought into like the team. No, nah, definitely. You, you don't make that trade for McCaffrey late in the season unless you feel like you can legit win this year. No, nah, for, so, for real, for real, for That probably was a big boost to the rest of the team. Not nah, dev in and, general. And I've been telling people I'm a big Lamar fan. Like, mm. I don't know why people hate on him. I don't get it. Like he's like MVP caliber. Like mm-hmm. he already showed it, but I think he just has a unique skill set. And I never thought he had receivers. You know. So I want to see him not have any more excuses, even as far as me, you know, maybe like, am I tripping? Like, Mm -hmm. like, are these analysts like, cause there's a lot of analysts that say it's not just like one or two who aren't on the Lamar train. You feel me? Yeah. So for him to get OBJ, like that was like somebody we're talking about, like a key acquisition. Cause I think OBJ was that key difference in, in the Rams winning one, you know, cause when he was available, I wanted to go get him, you know, like people be thinking like it's, I oh, drama bro, I filled, you know, yeah, 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 drama filled player, just like uh, you know, diva receiver, bro. But nah, bro, somebody that good, bro. You just gotta go get him, bro. Like I, I be wishing like teams made sacrifices, and I was kind of happy for the Ravens, you know. Like I don't be hating any team in that division. I don't think. I feel like that's like a division that could beat Mahomes. And now that Rogers, because I for some reason, bro, I just feel like I don't know, like Josh Allen is like Demar Derozan to LeBron. Mm. <laughs> Like he's just, he's so good, that. but it's like, just unfortunate. I don't, yeah. I don't think he's ever beaten my homes. It's just unfortunate your career even how lines good up I think Diggs is. I don't know, bro. Like I don't know what what it is. Because like, bro, like, like I don't know what it is. I, I, even if he throw like a solid running back on that team, you know, bro, it's not yeah, going like, to change anything. I think bro. I, I think what it is is just he doesn't have the image of being clutch yet because he hasn't had the opportunity to have like a clutch moment. Like a clutch drive in a playoff or a clutch like just a clutch moment in general. Mm. I think that's why in everyone's head he's he's not I think in my head is that, that um I've never seen him compromise this game and mm, do yeah. the the Brady route. Like we're yeah. just doing five yard passes, bro. <laughs> it's gonna be boring. Like and like maybe Gabe Davis has to get more touches and digs this game, you know? Like cause I seen the Eagles win games like that. Like AJ Brown's not getting touches this game. But like it's just like slow and methodical the way they say it, you know. Yeah. Football terminology. I'm trying to use what they use, you know. <laughs> That's what they say. The yeah. quarterback's just being methodical, with, yeah, yeah. you know, with the dump offs. He's making the right reads. Yeah. Know that means, you know, just yeah. making the right decisions. And yeah, like, yeah. bro. But I'm just like not fam. turning not turning the ball yeah, over. Yeah, like yeah. that's what they be yeah, saying, yeah, yeah. you know? Yeah. I just like yeah, bro, go off. Like, because that's not fantasy shit, you know? Yeah. But sure. that's like the reason I think, like, I've never seen Josh Allen play a game like that. I've seen Burrow do it. And that's what I'm about to say. I yeah, think that's like, why Joe Burrow is in yeah, the opposite nah, side but, of that. Yeah, yeah, I've seen T. Higgins and Mixon run a whole game. Like, yeah. Yeah, because you know? if he sees one on one, bro, he's throwing it. Yeah, psh, bro. Like, he's throwing and it. I'm up. not mad. Like, yeah. I respect him and his arm talent. Like, I'm not saying he's not good or anything. Yeah. I just think Mahomes wins those games. Oh, yeah. Like, those shootout games. Yeah. Like, Bro, you got to, like, take like, over, like, time possession a little bit yeah. or something, yeah, you know? That's like, what Brady you gotta, was so good at, bro. That, yeah, like, you that's what, just, like, bro, if you look at it, bro, the time management that Brady had on Mahomes compared to any other QB, I bet. Yeah, bro. It's like, sh- it's probably fucking a lot fucking different. And, and, and then look at his record compared to, like, other QBs, bro. Nah, definitely. And, like, someone would think you're keeping Mahomes fresh. Like, he hasn't been on the field. Like, nah, honestly, you need something like that to get cold. Yeah. Like, yeah. get all frustrated and, like, he not playing, you know, like... You know, like when a star player ain't getting, yeah, bro. Like, like, so then he's all antsy. Like, we need him to like be mistake prone. You yeah, know? you got to hold him off. It's like then rare. He's gonna try to force something. Yeah, bro. my bad. Like, Go ahead. No, no, you're good. I was just gonna say you got to hold him off and hope the D line like hits him a couple times. Yeah, or you know? just like I don't know. You got to do something yeah. to disrupt his flow. Because Crosby you know? be doing that shit. He'll sock him a couple times. Because like, <laughs> <No. laughs> I was watching that. Uh, hey, was that, that, that QB shit. Yeah, Max Crosby was like digging into him. Okay. Yeah, just trying to get into his head. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then he ended up throwing up like two touchdowns nah. in the last quarter. <laughs> but it was working at first, yeah. bro. But then that fool got like nah, hot hey. and he honed in. Like, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So once he's like, so after seeing that, bro, just, that's. And then he threw to Kelsey for four fucking touchdowns. <laughs> yeah, bro. Yeah. So I was going to say, after seeing that, I'm kind of like, I all right, you. don't piss him off, actually. Yeah. Like, I hear you. Yeah. I'm not going to ask because I know we're going to do specifically rankings next week. And we'll probably like say right. who we have winning the Super Bowl or anything. Out of the quarterbacks who challenged Mahomes this year, can you give me three? I still have Burrow. Okay. Just because he's. Even tender. after the injury? My bad. Yeah. Let me just. 
name yeah. your list and then I and then we'll like talk about them. My bad, because I tend to interject all the time. But go ahead. Yeah, I'm gonna say Burrow, Hertz, and Lamar. Let's go AFC. Damn. Burrow. Burrow. Yeah. Just Burrow. Damn. Okay. Burrow and Lamar. Burrow Lamar. Yeah. Okay. Damn, I was literally about to say Burrow, Lamar, and fucking um Hertz. Yeah, I don't want to say. He didn't want it. I yeah, yeah. He gave me. Because I don't know. Hey, because I don't know who's gonna be my starting QB by the end of the year. You're giving our show credibility. No, because not. You know what though? Like we need that. This honesty. You know. No, because I don't want to say. I'm not saying that. Go ahead. Go ahead. Because I was gonna say Purdy initially. Mm. But is it like? That's more of the defense, like trying yeah, to hold the game. Yeah, I was about to say. Mm-hmm. I was like, that's, at that point, I'd be yeah. saying the Niners. Yeah, we'd be having the out. Like we gotta outscore that guy. Yeah, but. I be saying we. I'm with every other team besides my home sometimes, bro. I swear. <laughs> nah, my thing with um, fucking um, uh, I was going oh fucking uh, with Mahomes. Uh huh. Fuck, I forgot what the fuck I was thinking. Yet. My bad. Nah, you said you said Lamar. Yeah, so Lamar. My thing with Hurts. Sorry. Okay. Mahomes with Hurts is like okay, you had a good year, like, but can you do it again? Bro, I'm just, just I'm because shook. like okay like because now you have expectations. And I told you expectations is a real thing, bro. Like, teams you. crumble. Like I I, not that I, on, yeah, not that I don't think your team's not solid. It's just like I don't trust your head coach. I hear you because he's still new, bro. Like I know because it's mean. easy to like piggyback off the talent off your team, bro. Like, but at the same time, though, and we like, lost a lot of talent last year, bro. Yeah. So that's what I'm saying. Like we lost pieces. Like we have like embedding a new team is like hard to go with that team immediately. And then you're trusting a lot of young talent. Yeah, bro. we are. I know what you mean. Like. So now it's really coaching. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, I'm excited to see it, bro. Nah, I know because I've told you guys in the group chat, like, yeah, my biggest thing with my team is quarterback play and coaching. Mm-hmm. Like, don't get me wrong, bro. I don't think Dax have ha- has had a losing season yet. Has he? Don't quote me on that. No, nah, no, nah, I don't think he's don't had think a losing so. season. Nah, he be, he, so it's he like good, bro. I can't be mad at him just because last year he led the league in picks. Yeah, because there's at least three to four I saw that. Okay, bro, like that that could have been preventable if he just caught it. Mm. Like even just like there was out of those four, there's at least one like, bro, yeah, you probably should have just thrown that away. Mm. So I don't know, bro. I think <coughs> excuse me. I think with getting Lance, I don't think it really challenges Dak this year at least. Cause I think he still has like another two to three. No, years no, on the contract. no, no honestly, let's Tra- get into that. I don't think Trey Lance is, can read the off the defense yet. No, no, I don't think so either, bro. Yeah, because like he's not. He went to a D two school. Not nothing against that. Like, bro, yeah. if you're a baller, you're a baller. Even with that, but so you think Dak's position is not threatened? Not saying no. that at all. I'm not I, saying I that really at all. Don't you don't think so, Lance? No, I don't think so. Okay. No, I, I think, think I think happened, he's there to develop. Okay. Yeah. That and I think what happened to what happened to Romo, how Dak got his starting spot, because I think they're exactly in the same exact situation, bro. Mm-hmm. Like Dak was not meant to start. He was meant to be a QB, bro, like a backup QB. Like he was gonna be the backup because I remember yeah. I was even like even where he came from where he come from like Mississippi North, State Mississippi State so that's why I was like bro like he'll be a solid backup cool but hopefully like if he eventually develops into the starter but I didn't think he was gonna be that good to be honest like but with Lance I think he does have a higher upside I think him and Dak have similar games like they're both big ass fucking athletes like these fools could run the ball chuck the ball like but it's just how consistently can they do it mm. that's the main thing to me at least like. You know, like my personal opinion, Mm -hmm. I think to me, it's just going to be based off QB play. I feel you. Because we got shut down corners. We got Gilmore and fucking Diggs. And then our fucking, the rest of the defense is solid. Like, well, the D-line is usually always a little shaky, but they got a defensive rookie. They got a rookie out of Michigan, I think. Mm Mozzie, I think his name is. So he's supposed to be a fucking big old help in D-line. So That's fire. So we'll see, bro. That's fire. I was going to ask you, since we were talking about the quarterbacks and like you mentioned quarterback play because we know how important it is, two veterans that people teeter, are they even Hall of Fame? I want to see how you guys feel about them, and that's Aaron Rodgers and Russell Wilson. I think, and, I think Rodgers is for sure Hall of Fame. Yeah, I was about to say okay. Rodgers is locked. Yeah. And then maybe just to even go on my question, do they have any chance of threatening the Chiefs? I was gonna, I was gonna say too, uh, or just maybe how far can they do you even see either of them going? In I the could, I could run? see Roger sneaking one this year. Really? Yeah. yeah if everything, I think a lot, a lot of things have to go right for him. Mm-hmm. Like just kind of like the Brady type year where they, the Bucks just got hot, mm-hmm. like at the right time. Like I could see that happening for the Jets. Okay. Too. Yeah, and then for like, sure. And, and then like opinions on Russell Wilson. Russell Wilson, 
I think he comes do back. Do you think he was just as bad as last year? Question? Well, both. Do you think he was just as, like, is he going to look the way he looked last year? Because last year was crazy, bro. Like, yeah. To yeah. have that I, bad of a I drop never, off, like, yeah. I thought Russell was, like, top five for a long time. Just from, like, skill set. And, like, yeah. I never thought Seattle was that good after they got rid of, like, you know, like, uh, after they paid him. Like, of course, they had to kind of dispense the team, you know? So, I'd, like, uh, I always thought the defense, like, lost their morale the way they were kind of feared and revered in the league, you know? Right. Um. So I feel like Russell was kind of carrying him at a time period. I didn't think, I didn't think he looked that bad. You mm-hmm. know, he went to Denver and that shit looked crazy, bro. Like the way they were talking okay. about him and memed up. You know, I guess yeah. this, this is the like, better damn. question is: Do you do you feel like it's his fault for that pick being thrown when they didn't run it? Um, no, bro. I no. think honestly, because some we, people do blame him. I think receivers lose matchups, bro. Yeah, like the receiver lost a matchup, bro. Yeah, bro. Yeah. He literally got bullied for the like, ball. like, and like half of it is like. What they say, bro. One thing I like about like Julio Jones, he'll prevent you from catching it, yeah. even if it's a pick. Yeah, if you can like see, receivers yeah. don't be fucking doing their. Yeah, like, that's part of your job, bro. Yeah, to come back to the ball, and if you can't get, or it, like you can't, bro, yeah, yeah. knock it out of his hand, yeah, bro. Yeah, yeah. Like tackle him so like the thing is incomplete because like mm. you feel, me, bro. Like, swat he, that shit out, yeah, yeah, bro. Like you gotta like help your quarterback out a little bit, bro. Like. Yeah, bro. If I'm, he can't catch it, make sure he can, bro. Make like, sure he can. Like, that's... Especially yeah. in the Super Bowl, bro. I feel like his switch needed to be on. Like, yeah. I feel like receivers sometimes just value only their side of making the catch. Like, Steve Smith, bro. I feel like you do that to Steve Smith. Even if he would have lost the matchup, that ball's not getting caught by the receiver. Yeah. Or, I, I mean, the corner, bro. Yeah. Like, even Butler, like, he's a smaller corner, bro. Like... Yeah, you could have done bro, something, like, bro. You yeah. could have done something. That's bro, how I you feel. You just bodied up, you know? bro. Like, yeah, you, you could have done something, up, bro. But it was a great pick. I'm not trying to downplay the, the at all, play. At all. Yeah. He, he cut it. He, yeah, he cut bro, it. Bro, he read he that. It, what? Yeah. yeah, that was a kid's book, bro. I think I read that shit quickly, bro. So like, it's like I don't know, bro. Like I think yeah, Jim was a good point. I I do think I do think he's a Hall of Famer though, just not like first year. Yeah, no, I think it's gonna take him a while. Cause he has one ring. Rogers has one ring, and he could easily had a. Because they could eat literally, yeah. you know. Rogers a multiple yeah. time MVP. No, definitely. I'm yeah. Not I think that yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Ro- I think Rogers' first year. But goes I think in. playoff wins is something that always gets valued, you know. Oh no, no, it does. You know, matter. and like yeah. Rogers would like go with home, like home field, and lose the first game. You know, yeah. that's like, true. Like you know, Russell will sometimes not get home field, but like having a wild card journey, sometimes it stacks but up playoff wins. In Rogers, your, Rogers in your would flavor, take bad you know? teams though with bad. Oh no, definitely no. No, I agree. I agree. He, I think Rogers really good. I'm not. Yeah, even, I'd be arguing he's better than that Brady fool. But oh yeah, you know, just yeah. skill like skill yeah, set. Yeah, you know? so yeah, I, I used like to I be, but I understand yeah. winning. And stuff yeah, like I, that, yeah, you know? I think so, he won like that one. Yeah, last I understand, one understand in winning. England, you feel me? Fucking, yeah, the like other one with Tampa, skill, I was like, bro, yeah. yeah. I would think Rogers is yeah. He's he's in his own. You know. Yeah, he's one of them jumps. Yeah, this is fire. I'm glad we getting into this. You know, you already hear. We didn't even get to the controversy <laughs> where we started arguing. We're just being nice today. You hear me? Give me a little pilot episode. Give you a little flavors of what we like to talk about. You know what I mean? Because once season starts, we gonna be disagreeing. Yeah, like, shit ain't gonna be that's, seen that's no more, like, bro. I already know. Like, because then it's facts. Yeah, like, like your record bro, is your record. Yeah, yeah, yeah. there's no like, oh, well, we ain't no hiding. Won, yeah, like, there's no hiding behind. Yeah. You know, we're gonna have a lot of bad takes. Side. Oh yeah, you hear me? Let us live, bruh. Like, <laughs> so don't yeah. copy this shit and fucking resend it but to that's us. Just, I just got to say, you know, like, we're going to be having yeah, a lot the, of bad At the end take. of the year, I'm, I'm going to take, like, all, all of our takes. I know you are. That's what I'm trying to say. I'm trying that's to preface. Yeah, I'm going to try to get the worst ones. I'm trying to preface yeah. everything. Make a montage of the worst ones. It's going to just capture stuff, yeah. man. You be doing it. Make I a know, montage bro. of, like, the worst ones. I know. Put them together, yeah. Watch be how we were talking about last today. They'd be like, Trey Lance traded for us. I know. Like, my O'Connell shit's going to be in there. <laughs> yeah, I hear you, bro. You mean when the Angels win it all and you said that shit about us? And we're just... <laughs> I ain't gonna hold you, Jumo. We need a fucking miracle. Like, we need a lot to happen. Yeah, you need happen, just bro. a new that, new that, management. That's uh, what you need, bro. Yeah, and nah. they should have told the fucking new, team. We're new not getting into it. We're new not getting into it. We're getting into it. It's fire, gentlemen. We're gonna become professional, too. Just wait on the new look. Just wait. This is his <laughs> first look episode. We're gonna try to get y'all see. We're already speaking behind the scenes, trying to get into existence. Let me not gas it up. And then it don't happen. Yeah, y'all just gotta see. Y'all just gotta see. Hopefully it pans out. You know it was funny. Jose's gonna pull up to one episode, and be like, "What the fuck? You I, guys I, doing no. here? We're not gonna tell him. We can't tell him. <laughs> we gotta let him just." He said, "Who's coming on? This. We're not even doing it." Yeah. <laughs> like, you know, just, oh, he'll be like, yeah. Yo, you hear me? But we finna sign out. <laughs> Young pilot episode. A little introduction. Tell y'all what's coming next, and a little bit about you know just. 
This is slight opinions. Next week we're gonna have rankings and little tangible stuff we could keep referring to throughout the year yeah. and takes we you know. But we're gonna sign this out. Do sports. No, you gotta take the sports it out. We're gonna yeah. get our own intro too. Chess. But signing out is Juma. Frankie. Isaac. Yeah, peace out. Do sports with it. You hear me? Dude.